Hello, welcome to yoga. My name is Nicola. As always, this is an all levels practice. Today's practice um, is kind of a power yoga flow with a focus on spinal health. So we will be doing quite a few spinal twists in this one. It's very important to keep the spine supple and doing a lot of twists will help keep that spinal fluid moving, will help lubricate the spine. So we'll begin with our centering. So sitting with a nice tall back here, making room for the belly, room for the breath. We'll be coming into our three part or yoga breath. So as you inhale, allow belly to soften and expand like a balloon. And as you exhale, draw belly button towards spine using your abdominals to help fully exhale. Inhaling, belly softens. Exhale, draw belly button towards spine. beginning to slow the body down, slow down the mind, focus internally. Pay attention to how you feel today and just take note of any areas of tightness or injury that you might need to take care of, places where you may need to modify. This is your own personal practice. Continuing to breathe on your next inhale, allow belly then rib cage to expand. And as you exhale, draw in the ribs, draw in the belly. Two distinct parts to your breath. Try to inhale and exhale through the nose if you can. And then bringing in the third and final part of our three part breath. On your next inhale, allow belly, rib cage, and then collarbones to expand. And as you exhale, collarbones fall, ribs pull in, belly button draws in. Taking these deep, full, cleansing breaths and getting the sense that you're filling up your lungs from bottom to top and emptying from top to bottom. And perhaps setting an intention for yourself for today's practice. And if you do find the mind wandering throughout the practice, return to the breath, return to that intention to help keep focus. Just taking one more deep full inhale breath. Exhale. And then just allow your breath to be natural without too much thought. If your eyes were closed, just open them. We'll be moving straight onto the hands and knees, so finding a tabletop position on your mat. Remembering to stack your joints here, so wrists, elbows, shoulders in line, knees and hips in line. 
moving into some cat dog or cat cow. So as you inhale, belly low, tailbone and chin tip up. As you exhale, rounding the back, pushing into hands and knees, tucking chin and tailbone. Inhale, finding that dog or cow posture. Exhale, rounding the spine, coming into cat. We can begin to create a little flow here, if it's okay, on your knees. As you start to exhale into cat, rounding the back, just let your hips come back towards your heels, coming towards child's pose. And then as you inhale, kind of sweep your nose across your mat, using your arms to push you up, ending up in dog posture. Exhale into cat, hips flow back. Inhale, nose sweeps across the mat. Finding dog. And just choose whichever one feels good to you. If this bothers your knees, just stick with the static version. Just continue to move with your breath. One more inhale, breath. Exhale, round the back. And then finding a neutral stance here, back in tabletop. We'll do some donkey kicks here just to warm up the body. So keeping your right knee grounded, bring your left knee forward. And we will exhale and just kick that leg straight back, pushing through the heel. And try to make a sound to kind of clear out the lungs. You're probably home by yourself, so no one else can hear you, so no worries. So inhaling, draw knee in, exhale with a And try to avoid flinging your leg up. You only want to bring it to hip height and just push through the heel. At your own pace, whenever you're ready. Three more. And then pause with that leg at hip height. Maybe raising opposite arm to shoulder height, finding a balance here. Working the core a little bit. And then bringing your hand back to the mat. Just take your leg behind you. Take a look back towards your legs. So you're kind of making a C curve with your spine, looking back towards your hips or that foot. You can be on the ball of the foot or the top of the foot can be down. Feeling a little stretch to the hip on this supporting leg also. And then making your way back to tabletop. Bring your weight to your left knee. Inhale, that right knee draws in. Exhale, we'll push straight back with that. Don't forget to flex the foot, push through the heel whenever you're ready. Three more. Pause. With that leg extended, pushing through the heel, maybe raising left arm forward, creating that balance, adding a little core work. And then lowering hand to mat, crossing that right leg behind you, bringing it over to the left, and taking a peek back to your hip or your foot on the left side. Creating that little C curve with the spine. Feeling a little stretch maybe in this left hip also. Breathing into any areas of sensation. And then 
then returning to tabletop. We'll work with a little moving thread the needle. Again, just to wake up the spine, begin this lubrication of the spinal column. So keeping your left hand down, inhale, open right arm. Exhale, thread that hand palm up, reaching fingertips forward. Inhale, opening the arm back up. Exhale, hand to neck, switching sides. Inhale, left arm opens. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, finding the twist. Exhale, palm to mat. So continue going from side to side with the rhythm of your own breath. This could be the we'll just go once more to either side. toes together and knees a little wider apart. Begin to sink the hips back, keeping the hands connected to the mat, creating a little resistance here, a little stretch down the arms and shoulders. Moving into child's pose. side stretch here while we hold child's pose. So if you like, just walk your hands over towards the left and then take your right palm connected to the mat. And again, create that little pullback, that resistance, so you get a nice stretch down the right side of the body. And you can release your left arm behind your palm up, just rest it next to your foot. Head resting on the mat. If that's not comfortable in your neck, you can make a fist with this left arm. Just rest your head on the fist. And just begin to walk your hands back towards the front and then move them across to the right side, connecting left arm to mat, creating that little tug back, releasing right arm behind you, or maybe making a fist to rest your head. Breathing into that left side of the body as you hold this posture. Pushing into the feet, making our way to downward facing dog. So just some key points here. Push into your palms of your hands so you push that chest back towards your thighs. Pushing heels towards the mat. Tipping tailbone up and back like you did with the dog posture. And then drawing shoulder blades down your back and wrapping them forward. All these little movements will just help support the spine as we hold this downward dog. Forward fold. Inhaling, bring your hands 
to shins or thighs coming into jackknife. Make sure your shoulders are pulling back away from your ears. Crown of the head is pointing forward. Spine is parallel to the mat. And then from here, just sinking the hips down. And then try to tip your tailbone forward a little bit, coming into chair posture. So lifting the arms up if that feels okay. Otherwise, you can try prayer pose. So we will be adding a twist here. So maybe bringing your hands to that prayer pose, twisting over. If you can, while keeping the spine straight, you're going to bring your elbow just to the outside of this knee, making a fist with the right hand, push against that hand. If you need to come up here in order to keep a straight spine, then please just bring the back of your hand to your knee and kind of bring your torso up a little taller. It's more important to twist with a straight spine than to try to get deeper. So from here, making your way back to chair pose, we'll twist to the other side. You pick. Go once more either side. Coming back to the center. Go to the right. Once more back to the center. And then straightening your legs, coming into the forward fold one more time. If forward folds are not for you, please take jackknife as your option. If you're okay in a forward fold, grab your elbows. And maybe just sway from side to side here. Coming in to ragdoll. now that we're standing, so just take a moment here to get used to it. So we'll move through some sun salutations. We'll start with three sun salutation A, and then three sun salutation B. So you are gonna get a little warmer, get that blood flowing. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stepping back to plank, or your option is tabletop. And from here, shift forward and lower down to the mat on an exhale. Inhale, make your way to low cobra, full cobra, or upward facing dog by lifting your knees. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, soften your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping arms out and up. Exhale, hands to heart. So moving through two more of these, use your own breath, link breath to movement. Inhale, extended mouth. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk or hop your feet back to a plank. Exhale, shift forward and lower down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, soften knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or hop towards the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, sweeping arms out. Exhale, hands to heart. Once more on your own. Sun salutation B. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sinking down to that chair pose. Take an inhale here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, jackknife. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find plank. Either walk or hop back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Coming into a lunge, sweep your arms up. Take a breath here. Exhale, bring your arms down. Stepping back. Downward dog, finding your plank, lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Softening knees, step left foot forward. Inhale, reach up. Take a breath. Bring your arms down. Step back, find that downward dog, or you can go straight to plank. Take a breath here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Soften your knees. Hop or walk forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find your chair pose. Exhale. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Moving through two more of those. We'll go just a little bit quicker, moving with the breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Walk or hop back to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Stepping right foot forward, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank on your inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Stepping left foot forward, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Stepping back to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, soften knees and look forward. Exhale, walk or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, jackknife. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lower hips coming into chair pose. Exhale here. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come into that chair. Take an inhale here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk or hop your feet back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, in cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step right foot forward and reach up. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, find plank. Exhale, lower. Cobra or upward dog. 
to downward dog. Bending knees, step left foot forward, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Stepping back to plank, coming inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, soften knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, jackknife. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find that chair pose one more time. Exhale. Inhale, stand up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart. And just pause here, you're probably breathing a little faster, building a little heat, feeling your heartbeat a little bit quicker. So moving into some standing postures, keeping your right foot at the top of your mat. Take a fairly big step back with your left foot, finding warrior one. Just reaching arms up, your hips will be facing the front. Just take a couple of breaths here in this strong, assertive warrior pose. And from here, just opening up so your hips will be coming to face the left. Make sure your hips stay level, arms to shoulder height. And just making sure your knee doesn't protrude beyond your toes here. That, that would put too much stress on the knee joint. So if you need to, just step a little bit wider. So coming into a little flow from here, lowering your back arm, raising your front palm, inhaling, finding a peaceful warrior. Exhale, reach forward, bringing forearm to thigh, sweeping back arm overhead for extended side angle. Trying to keep a nice diagonal line. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, flow forward. Using your own breath, flow back and forth here. Extended side angle, just pause and then think about maybe walking this front foot back a little bit. We'll be pivoting, coming onto the ball of the back foot and lowering arms either side of front foot, finding a runner's lunge. And from here, we'll be adding a twist. So if you can, maybe you need to come up onto your fingertips, or perhaps if you do have a yoga block or a big thick book, you can place it under this left hand. And on your inhale, let's just twist to the right. So remember, twists come from the waist up and you want to try to keep your spine straight. And it makes her, but it breaks her, it takes her into power. Take an inhale breath and as you exhale, lower that arm. Step your back foot in just an inch or two and begin to straighten your front leg. So we'll be working into standing runner. If you need to, bring hands to shins or thighs, or you can reach down. And then maybe rounding the back, bringing nose toward me. Breathing into any areas of deep sensation, encouraging them to release, relax. Long for something that's safe and warm. And we'll be adding one more twist here. So again, make sure your spine is nice and straight. If you need to, you're going to be up here and twist from here. Otherwise, you have fingertips down. Opening right arm to the right, coming into a revolved triangle. Take one more breath. Lower your hand. Step back to downward dog. Maybe just walk the dog for a moment. And then softening the knees, stepping left foot forward. 
Setting your back heel down, sweeping arms up, finding yourself in warrior one on the other side. On the other side we no cars go. Up to the hills. And then from here, just opening up to warrior two. If you need to, shift your feet around a little bit. Hips open to the right and make sure they're left. Arms out to the shoulder so height. Scared I won't make it to the other side of And then from warrior two, come into that little flow. So inhaling, make your way to peaceful warrior. Exhale, come to extend the side angle. Use your own breath to flow back and forth. It's helpless and it's hopeless as a feather on the Everything from the waist down should remain still here. And the next time you're in, extended side angle. Just hold for a moment. And then kind of shift your feet around, pivot on that back foot, bringing hands either side of front foot for runner's lunge. And remembering the importance of keeping spine straight. Find that twist by opening your left arm. Taking one more breath here, release that arm to mat, stepping back foot in just a little bit, finding your version of standing runner, which could be up here, or fingertips down, remembering to keep knees soft. And then from here, adding that twist, coming into a revolved triangle. Opening left arm. Taking one more breath. Lower your hand. Bending the front knee. Step back, finding downward dog one more time. And just take some time here to kind of walk the dog. From here, we'll be coming into pigeon pose. So keep your right foot planted. Just lift your left leg up and back to three-legged dog. Inhale here and actually exhale, draw knee forward and just hover with knee towards nose. Inhale back to that three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. We'll do one more. And then just pausing here as you hover, just lower that knee, releasing your foot to the inside of the left thigh, standing right leg back, and just bringing your torso up nice and tall here. So you should have some space between this left hip and the mat. You want to avoid leaning over, so you will most likely have space. So we'll be adding a little bit of a twist here too. So bring your right hand to your left knee. And as you inhale, just open your left arm. Gaze can be wherever is comfortable. Take one more breath here. And then bring this arm down. Inhale here, and exhale, begin to fold forward, coming into pigeon. Remember, you can stay here on the forearms, 
or you can lower down a little further, bringing head towards mat. We're also going to off up a twist here too. So we'll be doing a thread the needle arms while we hold pigeon pose if you want, just an option. So you can, since this left leg is forward, it will be your left arm. You're going to sweep it palm up underneath the right. And try to bring your shoulder down. And again, you can rest your head on your fist. Or maybe it comes down to the mat. Or maybe you just do the regular version. So you pick. Breathe into that sensation you feel in the left hip. Take one more breath. And then as you inhale, just opening up your left arm one more time, bringing hands down. Feeling the stretch now more in the right psoas or the flexor motion. Just take one more breath here. Placing palms down. We'll just step back to downward facing dog. Let's try to stretch your legs out. I know they've been kind of cramped up beneath you, especially this left one. Maybe coming up to three-legged dog one more time. Maybe even bending your leg and opening up that hip. If it feels good, looking out under the left arm. And then lowering that leg. Again, just take a moment to walk the dog. And then bring left foot towards the center of the mat and inhaling, let's lift the right leg up for three-legged dog. Exhale, sweep forward, bringing knee to nose, finding that pump. Inhale, stretching leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Let's just do one more. And as you come to this harbor here, just lower your knee down. Release the foot to the inside of the thigh. Extend your left leg back. And come on up here. Nice, tall, alert pigeon. Adding that twist, taking left hand to right knee. We'll open right arm on an inhale. And lowering that arm back down, take an inhale breath here. And begin to fold forward, feeling that stretch now intensify in your right hip. Coming down to rest on your forearms, if that feels okay, or stacking your fists. Or if you want to add that thread the needle twist, keeping left arm down, turn right palm up and thread your right arm under. Pushing fingertips forward, head coming down to mat, or just make a fist with your left hand. Staying here for one more breath. And then bring your left hand to mat and as you inhale, just release this right arm, reaching up one more time, then bring your hand down, taking a breath here. Placing palms down. Again, just step back to downward dog. Just kind of ease out your legs here. 
maybe trying that three-legged dog one more time and bending that right leg, opening up and stacking the hips, looking out under your right armpit. Standing that leg up, lowering it to the mat. Just walking the dog one more time. He didn't like it when I wore high heels, but I do. And then bring your knees down to the mat. Oh, I'm going to have a seat on the mat, so. However, it is easy for you to find that seat. Just make your way there. Just make sure you have some room behind you on the mat to lay back. Sitting nice and tall here, slowly lower yourself back. And then maybe coming into a full body stretch here. Flexing the feet, pushing through the heels, reaching through the fingertips. arms down by your sides, bending your knees, bringing your feet flat on the mat. Just draw your heels into where they comfortably land. We'll be working with bridge pose, but we'll begin with a little bit of pelvic rocking. So as you inhale, push your tailbone into mat and allow this low back to come up. And then as you exhale, push low back into mat and lift your tailbone about an inch or so. Inhaling, tailbone pushes down, low back releases. Exhale, pushing low back into mat, lifting tail. Just continue here with some of this pelvic rocking. Just going with the flow of your own breath. Starting to feel a little stretch in those hip flexors as we lift the tailbone up. And then the next time you begin to lift your hips, just continue on up. We'll do a little rolling bridge. So exhale, just allow the spine to Wind down one vertebra at a time till hips make it down to mat. Inhaling, raise up your hips. Exhale, low. Just continuing with this rolling bridge for a few more breaths. And the next time your hips are coming up, we'll pause there. Unless you're really enjoying the rolling bridge, then you can continue with that. If you are holding the bridge, just try to walk your shoulder blades in just a little bit. Push arms down into mat. Push into your heels, engage the glutes. Engage inner thighs so that your legs don't splay apart. And just make sure that you have a little gap here underneath your neck, that you're not putting weight on the neck. And maybe you play around with lifting and lowering the heels. Or maybe even lifting one leg. And then the other. the shoulder blades, rolling down the spine one vertebra at a time, bringing hips down to mat. Just gather in your knees, perhaps keeping hands on kneecaps, just begin to circle your knees in one direction, just kind of giving a massage to the low back here, getting all four areas of the low back as you circle the knees. Pause, 
and circle in the opposite direction. And then just drawing the knees in, maybe rocking from side to side. Extend your legs up, coming into hip stand. Now you have a choice to stay here in hip stand or begin to lift up the hips, supporting the back of your hips with the heel of your hand, coming into half shoulder stand. Your legs are not angled slightly back here. In either posture, just begin to bend and straighten the legs, lubricating those knee joints. Or maybe point and flex the feet, circle the ankles. Or perhaps even moving the legs in and out of a straddle, whatever feels good. And if you are in half shoulder step, you can begin to angle your legs back, coming towards plow, bringing tops of the feet towards the floor. If you remained in hip stand, you can get the same stretch by interlacing fingers, placing them behind your head, take an inhale breath, and as you exhale, gently lift up your head, drawing chin towards chest. You'll get the same stretch in the back of the neck, the same compression to the thyroid gland, so you pick. Grab your shins or maybe the insteps of your feet and pull your knees down towards your armpits. Coming into blissful or happy baby. You can choose just to rock gently from side to side here. Or maybe bend and straighten the legs, working the hamstrings a little bit more. Whatever would feel good in your body at this moment. go of your feet, bring the soles of your feet back down to the mat. Extend your right leg long and draw your left knee in. We're coming into a knee down twist. So using your right hand, just guide this knee over across and down towards the right. Make sure your foot comes down to the mat, but if low back is tight, Keep your knee off the floor. Just rest arms at shoulder height. Take a few breaths here. And then if your knee is not already on the mat, go ahead and shift your hips behind you. So we're facing the right, so you'll be shifting your hips back towards the left. And roll onto your side so that you can bring your knee down to the mat. Most likely this left shoulder will not contact the floor anymore. And keep your right arm out in front of you, palm up. And take your left arm and sweep it over like you're closing the pages of a book, bringing your palms together. Inhale, open the book, bringing the back of the left hand back towards the floor. Just continue with your breath here, exhaling as you close the book. 
inhaling as you open the book. The next time your palms are together, pause. And then just begin to sweep this left arm up and back overhead. Sweep it down and around, making a full circle till it meets up with the right hand. And just continue here, circling this arm. The next time the arm is behind you, just pause there. And then gradually rolling onto your back, bringing both feet flat on the mat, leveling off your hips. Just take a moment to allow your knees to gently fall from side to side. Pausing here, extend left leg long, draw right knee in and just hug it towards your chest. And then bringing right arm to shoulder height, use your left hand to guide this knee over, across and down to the right. Remembering, to the left, sorry, remembering to keep knee off the mat if low back is tight. And then taking a moment to shift your hips behind you a little bit more, roll onto your side so that you can bring this right knee down and put your left arm in front of your palm up. As you exhale, you'll sweep this right arm over, coming palm to palm with the left. Inhale, open the page of the book, sweeping that arm behind you. Inhale. Closing the book. And the next time the palms are together, pause there. Sweep this arm overhead and then continue to circle it all the way around, passing across that left palm. And just continue here, making these slow arm circles, working into that shoulder joint, enjoying this spinal twist. The next time the right arm is open behind you, just pause. Just take some time to allow those knees to fall from side to side.
and then bringing the knees to stillness. Just bring the soles of your feet together. Just allow your knees to fall out to the side. Coming into reclining bound angle. So from here we will be making our way into Shavasana. If you're comfortable in reclining bound angle, you can stay here. Or perhaps just bringing the soles of your feet to the mat, resting knees against one another. This would be more supportive for the low back. Maybe extending legs long, arms by your side, and just letting arms and legs roll out to the side. Or perhaps you prefer to lay on one side, or maybe you like to be seated. So, however you can best relax for the next few minutes, just make your way there. Find that comfy spot that's just right for you. Slow down the breath, taking deep inhales and exhales. Just take a quick mental scan of the body. Where can you soften? What can you let go? Where can you relax and release? And then take your attention to the support points of the floor beneath you. Take an inhale breath. And as you exhale, just relax, surrender into the support of the earth. Let it hold you up. Soften your muscles. Soften your jaw. Just be supported by the earth. Let the breath be natural and just try to keep the mind quiet.
begin to make some small movements, just bringing your attention back to the present moment, and beginning to waken the body. Or perhaps just rolling onto one side and taking a few breaths there. taking your time whenever you're ready. Just transition to seated. Maybe taking a few breaths there with eyes closed or soft gaze. Taking an inhale breath, reaching arms out and up, drawing hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.